Hi guys, this is Evelyn and oh why am I speaking English? Oh right, so I'm going to review a keyboard that I bought last month and I'm going to try play it a bit and also connect to my laptop and I'm going to show you guys how I made my music uh, well let's get started so okay so um, it doesn't come with a box as it is a second-hand keyboard that I bought and but it's okay because I've got this cute tote bags <laughs> Right, so here's the folding keyboard and what we've got here is whoops one set of sustain pedal and the charge so it comes with a built-in battery that can be charged uh, similar like charging your phone so here it is and this is the 88 keys so it has a longer size compared to the other one which has like half the keys okay i'm going to unfold the keyboard oops um by the way i'm <laughs> as i don't have enough space on my table so i'm going to <laughs> do this on my bed instead <laughs> i must pull back through <laughs> right just had this one damage in one of the hinge but doesn't matter anyway still works perfectly i'm going to turn on the keyboard so it has i forgot to mention about the lock in it has the here for the pedal and how uh, the button for turning turning on and off and here how you connect to the laptop or to charge the keyboard and here if you want to hear without disturbing your neighbors so you put your headphone plug in here okay let's turn on the keyboards you have to push the button for a few seconds right it's turned on and it has like 128 sounds so voice transpose this is for company notes and demo for the tempo and also has the metronome and this is the volume so the maximum will be okay 10 minimum will be zero when it comes to volume okay so right now i'm going to 
a sound sound. It has speaker. It's on the left and the whoop, um, right side. Works perfectly fine. I should try the keyboard, um, the sustain. Uh, the system works perfectly fine, so now I'm going to connect the keyboard to the MIDI apps on my laptop. Okay, so I've connected my keyboard to my laptop and I'm going to show you guys how to make some music and how to use the keyboard through the MIDI app. Oh, so the settings, uh, just click the setting where the sound is played for, from your laptop or PC and about the output and input you should, I'll just follow what I've done here and turn on the audio units because it detect how the sound from your keyboard and convert it to the sound in the apps instead and the MIDI stages if you previously plug in to MIDI keyboard just press reset and it will automatically detect the keyboard that we've just plugged in the folding keyboard okay exit and do this press create okay now um so basically the keyboard itself has its own speakers so while well, i'm pressing this on my keyboard it also detects see you can see the volume on the app so what I'm gonna do is turning off the volume and like turning on the maximum volume on my laptop so the sound will come from my laptop and not from the keyboard instead <laughs> see go to maximum right Okay, so now I can start to record my music. So here's what it shows on my laptop. I'm going to play what I've recorded before. See, uh, it doesn't have any noises as my keyboard was rec recognized as a MIDI. And, well, I hope it works. Well, with other kind of 
PC or other app. Okay, so now I'm going to add some beats to my music. I'll create some drum uh, loop beat. So here is the settings. Okay, I'm going to go with the slow dancing mood, and I could just the BPM or beats per minute. Is that? The key, I think it doesn't matter <laughs> because it is a drum. Okay, and uh, right. Okay, and hear how it sounds. Right now, I'm going to add my keyboard recording. I'm going to test. Again, it works perfectly. Okay, I'm going to change the video. Okay, right now I'm going to record. Let's um, hear how, how it sounds. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm going to make another cover videos using this keyboard right now. I think we call it an end and thank you for watching. Bye!